Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, we're going to take our Hello World example from the last video, and we're going to turn this directive into an actual version of our directory list person that we were making before using an ng repeat and then another ng include template. So we're going to be adding a little bit more functionality to our custom directive in this video. Let's get started right now. So in a few videos ago, we basically had this ng repeat over a list item that allowed us to list all of these users out, right? And then we used this person.html as the ng include to sort of output that information. Well, how might we do that with a directive, right? We could actually encompass this hello world directive in these same sort of ng tags we have here. So for instance, if we were to just copy this bit of code here, paste this down here. Now, instead of including this person.html, like so, and let's go ahead and get rid of this class too. I'm just gonna make this pretty simple here, okay? And as you can see, we're going to paste in our hello world component here. Uh, this hello world directive is going to now be inside of this, uh, uh, it's not going to be inside of this ng repeat where we're saying item in dir list list. So just by looking at this, what might you expect to happen? Well, we should be seeing hello world, the text being output in an unordered list as many times as there are items in the directory list. So if we come to our page, you can see we have equal one, two, three, four, and we have four down here. Now, an interesting side effect here is that if we type in Scott, the hello world filtering actually works as well because even though we're displaying the text hello world, it's still using the same filter here that we were using before. Now let's actually try something. We're going to come in here. We're just going to grab this span here, this item, item name, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and paste this into this template string right here. Notice how we're still including item.name and item.age. Now, this isn't a great practice, but it's gonna show you a little bit about how scope is working with your directives here. We're actually going to be able to pass in the scope from this controller into this directive without having to do anything additional than what we have right here. So let's come to this and we can paste this in here like so. So now as you see, we actually get the names output in the exact same way. In fact, it's it's very, very similar to what we have going on. So let's actually try something different. Since we have this uh, person.html with the image and the item name and all this stuff, right? This is the content we actually want to be outputting here. We could actually have this directory list template as a template URL. So we can say template URL, and inside of the string here, instead of some code, we're actually going to be having a path to a directive template. So the template we're gonna use is person.html. Okay, so we now have person.html, and what we should be seeing when we refresh is we should be seeing a duplicate of this list directly below it. And as you can see, we have the same list uh, listed twice. Now the only difference is it's not getting some of the classes uh, because I took that stuff off when we did this ng repeat, but it's an, it's no big deal. Now and some other things to be aware of. Uh, since this doesn't really make sense to have this named hello world, have this person.html, we also don't wanna keep things listed the same. So let's go ahead and first rename person.html. I'm gonna rename this to directory hyphen person, like so. Okay, so this is directory hyphen person dot html. And now we're going to reference that file in here correctly, directory hyphen person. Now let's go ahead and change the name of our directive from hello world to directory person, and what we're gonna wanna make sure is that this is not hyphenated and this is camel case like we went over in the last video. So we have directory 
person, directory person.html. And now in our actual HTML, we want this to go ahead and be directory person hyphenated, just like the HTML file that we included was. It's going to copy this, paste it in there like so. Okay, so we've now renamed the directive to be directory person. We renamed the HTML file to be directory person, and we've renamed the actual directive here. Let's come in and refresh, and you can see it's all good. Okay, so now let's go ahead and just get rid of this other unordered list. Um, and what we can do is we can go back and add this class here, like so, just to get rid of that. And I'm going to paste this on a new line here, line this up. Cool, so we're now using a directive to accomplish something that we had to use an ng include to do before. And you may be wondering, what's the sort of benefit in this? Well, directives can encompass a lot more than just HTML. Directives can encompass a lot of functionality on their own, functionality that can be taken with them. So for instance, uh, you'd be able to use this directory person outside of this ng repeat and uh, whatever sort of functionality, perhaps maybe you're saving or modifying a person in this directory, but either way, that functionality will be able to travel with the directive itself and you won't have to have a lot of that logic inside of the controller. So now this is a very most basic example. I just took something that we did something else and arguably made it a little bit more complex. However, directories add a lot of really great functionality that we're going to see in upcoming videos. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, if you comment the video or hit me up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials, I love to hear from you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.